What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 MindT video and guys today we do have some market talk. And man, as per usual, drop 20k in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you are new for a chance at winning 20,000 MT. Make sure to go follow that Twitter because we do the giveaways on there. And uh, yeah, man, a lot to talk about on the market. We got some all-star content dropping this week. I don't know when. Maybe they'll drop some moments later today or tomorrow. I don't know, man. 2K is unpredictable at this point. So uh, yeah, let's talk about the market. Let me tell you what's been going on and what I've been noticing. And uh, yeah, um, I'm about to actually have my second MT sponsor. Um, NBA Safe MT, bro. They want me back, bro. They've been begging for me to promote them, so I'm about to promote them and DVDJ. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. And, dude, I've been realizing that Tracy McGrady is going back up to around 400,000 MT. I got him for 290. Um, a lot of players are starting to go back up. It looks like during the day, prices are more expensive, and uh, at night, prices kind of drop a little bit. So, we're going to go over a ton of things. We really still have these garbage packs in. The Tracy McGrady packs are gone, so we should see a Yao raise and a Tracy McGrady raise. Um, I saw Yao going for around 90k the other day. He's up to like 110, 100k again, so that's pretty cool. Um, last night, I ended up picking Kobe for around 90k. I probably lost MT, not going to lie. I did, I think. Um, I just wanted Kobe so bad. All right, I didn't really lose. I, I kind of lost MT, but bro... Kobe Bryant is such a, like, this, I'll show you my lineup. I'm running Kobe now, and he's been balling. I mean, he is so good for me. But honestly, I might have to sell my whole entire team, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, as the days go on, man, I keep realizing that everything is so expensive still. Like, it's crazy how expensive everything is. I kind of want to just sell my whole entire team and honestly just make MT when the market crashes during, what's it called? Oh my god, all-star moments because dude all-star moments is gonna it's gonna destroy the market completely And we should be prepared for that. You need to have at least like at least bro If you're if you really got no MT, try to at least get 150k together because bro You're gonna need it. You're gonna need 150,000 MT bad like I mean bad so Make sure to definitely have that MT ready ready to roll. You're gonna need as much MT as you could get Four all-star moments. We're going to be investing in a ton of cards. They're just going to rise like crazy. So stay tuned for that, man. We're going to go over a lot of stuff in this video. And as you can see, I'm just trying to fill up my heat check collection a little bit. Um, I've really been trying to get my heat check collector level up a lot. And uh, yeah, man, we're getting closer and closer to the 300 token reward. Hopefully, we can keep doing it and doing it and getting more cards each and every day. My goal is to get at least 15 to 20 cards a day to get my collector's level up. But yeah, let's get into some market. So some things I want to really focus on, bro, like is really, really selling your team um, and focusing on some certain snipe builders that I did show you in my videos yesterday. But um, yeah, I'm going to tell you one thing. If you do have Jimmy Butler, my predictions is he's going to be under 70K by Friday or whenever they release those all-star moment packs or whatever they do. Because, dude, Jimmy Butler is mad good, but it just shows how unrare he is by the pricing being so low already if he's 100k already and he's a pink diamond you know he's gonna be way under like he's gonna be like under kobe's diamond price so that's what i'm gonna say if you do have jimmy butler i would recommend selling him because i really do believe he's gonna go down a lot as you can see there's a ton on the market for around 93 94 95k i am on xbox um i do believe he will drop to around 80 80 70 ish k because there's going to be a huge market crash this week, like I said. I just don't know when. I'm just waiting for some 2K content so I can show you guys what to do with your MT and what I'm going to invest in. But yeah, I really don't think this Jimmy Butler is going to hold up at 94K. Once though that market crashes, pretty much everything's going to drop. I also really think Shaquille O'Neal is going to be around 100K buyout because, bro, Shaq can't do anything, bro. Like I use him online. He's good. I'm not going to say he's bad. But honestly, if you compare him, to like Hakeem, he's honestly not even better. And my Yao Ming plays so much better than Shaq as well. But uh, I want to compare him to Hakeem and show you why Hakeem is so much better than Shaq. And um, he's literally better. He's just so much better. You can disagree. I don't really care. But he's really good. First off, he's got 99 and 99. Shaq's got 97 99. So off the bat, 
Hakeem's going to destroy Shaq on offense. They're both 174, 171. All right, that doesn't really matter. Considering, bro, Hakeem has a way better mid-range and way better three. So personally, I think Shaq is going to lose his value to Hakeem. Hakeem's going to be that, that stud center in the game for a really long time. With his 95 block tie with Shaq, his very similar defense, and his offense is 10 times better. That's why I really do feel like Hakeem is going to be better than Shaq. And not only that, he does have more all badges total than Shaq. So, Hakeem could shoot. He's got gold quick draw. He's my ideal center. I will be picking him up very soon during the All-Star Crash. I'm probably going to sell my Shaq today. I'm probably going to sell a lot of cards today. We are 3-0 on Unlimited. We're trying to grind. And yeah, let me show you some snipe filters. Um, if you guys do really want to try to snipe out D-Wade or Przingis, you literally just have to go to Prime VIP Series 2. And um, no, Prime Series Prime Series 2 and try sniping out. Literally just play with the buyout, play with the bidding. Um, it's pretty solid, man. If you end up getting one of those cards, you're making at least 100,000 MT. So try it out, man. I've been trying it out. I've missed one Wade and I've missed two Przingises over my... Uh, couple of days trying to snipe this filter i don't know i guess i'm really slow when it comes to sniping but uh yeah man that snipe filter is pretty solid i'm trying to think so i'm with this filter also if you guys are a budget baller make sure you do try this out this filter but honestly bro right now i'm just trying to figure out what are they gonna drop like i want to know what 2k has in mind they didn't tell the community anything yet all they dropped on twitter was the 250k tournament that no one really cares about but yeah, right now is pretty much just a time to stack up on as much MT as you could get. Like, if you have, like, a stack team like me, I would recommend selling it. I'm thinking about selling mine. If I do sell my team, I'm going to have around 3 million MT. So if I have 3 million MT, I could invest 3 million MT into some cards. I would probably make another, like, 1.5 to 2 mil MT. So if you do have a million MT, you are dubbing out. You're going to get so many investments during All-Star break. And it's going to work out like crazy. There's going to be so many things to invest on. And some things to invest on pretty much just, it, it depends. It really depends on what they drop and how it affects cards. Honestly, I think Wade, he's around like 220 right now. I think Wade is going to drop to around, uh, where, where, where's his price? So he's around 220, probably 230. I really believe he's going to drop to under 200k. I feel like he's pretty good, but I feel like he's not OP, as people are saying. He's not as OP, man. He's really not. He's really good. I'm not going to say he's not. But I feel like he could be a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like his jumper is a little weird. He's pretty decent, but I feel like sooner or later, there's going to be a way better guard than him at point guard in the game. Like, he's not really usable at shooting guard. I don't really use him at shooting guard. I use him at point guard. But yeah, he's pretty solid. But I just feel like his price is going to drop. And if you want to get that Prime Series 2 done... Um, I would recommend getting him when he's under 200k probably Friday or even 200k on the dot But his price goes up and down a lot and I like paying attention to it because if you do need to get that prime series 2 Done he is the guy you need so also man if you really want Anthony Davis and you really really want Magic Johnson I'm just gonna say You gotta just simply wait. There's like nothing on here. There's literally nothing here, bro Magic Johnson is around 330 350k so if you really want a Magic, you just try not to buy him. Like, I beg, just try not to buy Magic because he's going to drop in price, man. He When Friday comes, bro, they're going to drop insane pink diamond, diamond. They might even drop a Galaxy over Giannis. If they drop a Galaxy over Giannis, I'll make my day. But uh, Giannis is probably going to go off during the All-Star game. So they're probably going to drop some crazy content preparing you. And this is how I'm preparing you, man. I'm preparing you by literally just telling you to sell your team. It's very simple. If you listen to me, man, you'll make tons of MT. Like, tons and tons of MT. So, make sure to listen to me, guys. Um, you need to make sure you have your pretty much whole team sold. I'm, this is the problem. I, I'm probably going to sell Wade. I'm probably going to sell Bird. I'm probably going to sell Bosch. And I'm probably going to sell Yao and Shaq. I'll probably keep Tracy, I'll probably keep Kobe, and I might sell Kawhi, but Kawhi's really dominant for me. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's up to you guys on what you want to do. Personally, I think my team's pretty solid. Obviously, I have a better option than Kobe. I could definitely um, move Tracy to the shooting guard, put Bird at the small, and then put Reggie Lewis at the three, but I like Kobe. But yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to sell your team and get ready for new content, and make sure to... Check out those snipe filters I posted yesterday. They're really solid. But yeah, guys, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.